Welcome to today's edition of Layoff and Employment News by Employment Boost. Today's date is Monday, September 11th, 2023. If you are an individual affected by a layoff or if you are a company facing a reduction in force, click the link above now or in the description box below for more information about our firm's outplacement support services and how we can help you as an individual land on your feet faster and get into a new job as quickly as possible or as an organization, how we can smooth the layoff process and assist with your reduction in force. Now on to today's headlines. Market intelligence from Sensor Tower, which focuses on focuses on the app economy, laid off around 15% of its workforce late last week, or approximately 40 personnel total. Unusually, the layoff included an array of C-suite personnel, including the CMO, CFO, and Chief Product Officer. Their corresponding teams, marketing and finance, were the most heavily affected. Sensor Tower has claimed profitability since launch, but wants to position for a balance of both growth and sustainable profitability going forward. Chennai, India-based software-as-a-service startup Chargebee laid off around 10% of their global workforce, affecting between 120 employees across multiple departments per Inc. 42. CEO Krish Subrahmanian cited market shifts behind the layoffs and stated that the company didn't needed to consolidate to focus on customer experience and core products with fewer overall priorities. The company has said it will provide severance packages for all impacted staff. This is charged to be second major layoff in the past year, as they let go of 142 employees back in December of 2022. Finally, ChargePoint, the electrical vehicle charging company, has announced a 10% reduction in force in their latest earnings report. Sales went up 39% in Q2 for ChargePoint, but revenue failed to meet expected goals, with the company blaming the loss on an inventory impairment charge on their direct current products. In addition to the layoffs, ChargePoint is also reducing non-personnel costs in an attempt to reduce operating expenses by about $30 million a year.